Hello there, my name is Ismail and welcome to another to part seven of our training series uh, making uh, this sewer tunnel. Uh, so we left off uh, creating these uh, rounded corners. Uh, yeah, whatever they are. Uh, now let's make this ladder here in the same way we made uh, these uh, corner pipes. So to do that, I had I had an issue recording this, so I'm repeating this for the second time. So let's add a plane, shift A. Rotate this 90 degrees. Uh, scale it to the size of uh, the ladder we want. Uh, select this top vertex, uh, this top edge, extrude it in the y direction. And uh, we want to round this off. Uh, make, but first, make sure you apply scale and rotation. And then use the bevel tool uh, to add, to make that rounded. And uh, use the mouse wheel to increase the resolution of uh, that, uh, of the bevel. So then, we can add a few loops here for uh, the steps and now we can select uh, these two side edge loops hit p to separate them and now we can hide uh, the other parts now uh, go to object mo mode convert uh, to a curve and then in the curve settings uh, add uh, the bevel depth you want so let's put it to around there and hide now let's select this hide everything then select these out outside edges select and delete edges so we remain with this now go to object convert convert to curve and hide everything so you don't have to come back here and change the bevel depth you can just select this because they are curves you can just join them to this main curve and uh, you will get uh, the same uh, bevel bevel, bevel uh, depth so uh, then you can move it to where you want i'm not going to do that uh, if you want to wipe that you can just go and wipe the time lapse on how i did everything else uh so uh, this part is very easy uh, to make so maybe let me just show you uh, this platform here how i made that and i think after we are done with that i think the modeling part of this tutorial of this training series will be done and we can get to uh, the texturing bits uh, for these uh, lines here, yeah, wires. Uh, those you can just use the same trick that we did here, uh, but uh, distort uh, the lines a bit uh, to follow the same curve as you see here. Um, uh, let's see what what was it? I was trying to make this platform here. So for that, I started with a with a plane, scaled it a bit. I gave it a few subdivisions. And then in the modifiers, add the decimate modifier, not displace, decimate modifier. If you go to wireframe, you can see the, uh, what the decimate modifier is doing. So go to and subdivide and change the iterations to one. Uh, it will change uh, the way the modifier, the way the mesh is subdivided into these kind of diagonal uh, squares. Uh, if you want more smaller squares, you just have to subdivide this even further and you would get even smaller squares. So then apply that, then select everything, hit Ctrl B to bevel this to get that. Or just select everything and hit I twice to insert uh, the the faces and then you can push them. Let me go to, y, to object mode. You can push them down. If you want to use that, you can use that. If you want to have more detail in this, you can do a few tricks here, depending on how detailed you want to go. Maybe you can, if you want to scale the individual faces, just go to this and change a pivot point to individual origins and uh, scale them now you can delete uh, that middle face and uh, get uh, this, the shape you want like that. And uh, for this, it's not the exact shape that I did here, but uh, it's the basic, the same concept. Actually, the, the, the one I've just made is more, is even more detailed. Uh, so you can use uh, the array modifier uh, to make copies of these. So that would be the platform. 
you know, for things like this, you can just watch the tutorial, uh, the time lapse video that, has, that is going to be on uh, my second channel and uh, Blender. Uh, sorry, it's called. I changed the name to uh, time lapse modeling. So yeah, I think we are done with the modeling part of this training series. Uh, next, we are going to start working on the texturing. The texturing. So yeah, thank you for watching. The lights are very simple. You just extrude a cube and uh, bevel it and yeah. yeah so see you in the next tutorial.